Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Salatu wassalamu ala sayyidina wa habibuna wa muallimuna wa khudwatuna Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa sallam. Liyum insha'Allah nitkallam ala interesting topic um, from interesting case in the last two weeks. This is a topic by name CMV in kidney transplant. CMV is the most common differential diagnosis for any patient, especially with GIT symptoms or signs in emerge in addition to abdominal pain, or especially with diarrhea, or whatever, you should think in CMV, especially patient with kidney transplant. Today, inshallah, I hope that the whole team will benefit from this lecture. Inshallah, it will be a good lecture. Inshallah, the whole team will benefit from this lecture. Inshallah, we will try to make the best of the knowledge. In the name of Allah, in the name of the Most Gracious, He said, "Allah, we do not have the knowledge of Him except for you. You are the Most Gracious, the Most Merciful." بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وقل اعملوا فسير الله عملكم ورسوله هو المؤمنون صدق الله العظيم اولا نبدا بالصلاه والسلام على حبيبنا ومعلمنا وقدوتنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم uh, the first you can't improve what you don't understand you should understand the disease or the complaint of your patient uh, to and uh, start your management to um, uh, end by final best approach uh, for best outcome for your patient you should understand what you are treating our objective today is background well just to give a hint of background of cmv virus to provide some information about CMV virus and the uh, route of transmission, risk factor for CMV uh, viremia and, in, and in nephropathy, and the clinical consequence of CMV infection, and to highlight the differential diagnosis and the screening guidelines, to highlight the histological similarity between CMV and the rejection, what is the histological similarity between pause, diagnosis, and detection, between differential and differentiation between CMV and uh, rejection in the kidney transplant to discuss the management of different treatment option for CMV. CMV almost always on the transplant patient differential diagnosis. You should think in any patient came uh, post transplant with any symptoms like fever, like uh, abdominal pains, uh, weight loss, night sweating, and uh, elevated um, uh, liver function test, uh, band cytopenia, and all come to all this in details. Just about CMV, viremia, post-kidney transplant, differential diagnosis for any symptoms post-kidney transplant. Uh, we'll start as usual by interesting cases, um, I thought already. Uh, a 50 years, uh, years old um, female patient presented three days uh, history of malaise and the fatigue for two months. Malaise, just in specific symptoms, just malaise, fatigue, and unable to do her task at home. After receiving deceased donor transplant with ETG, T-cell depleting induction serum. Patient discharge, discharge medication after transplant including tacrolimus, advagraf, mycophenolate, movitil, MMF, or myfortic, prednisone, and valgan cyclovir for CMV prophylaxis. Because this patient already um, ETG and received disease donor, all this should be covered by CMV uh, prophylaxis. Of note, the patient received zero positive. The problem the second problem now. The patient received zero positive donor positive CMV IgG positive organ, and there was zero negative. And the recipient, the recipient is negative for CMV IgG. So now this is another risk of maybe a little bit longer course now for six months now. ETG only. This maybe three months, but ETG with donor with. Uh, CMV viremia mismatch, donor is positive and the recipient is negative, will give uh, CMV a prophylaxis valgan cyclovir for nine months. On exams, a patient a physical exam and basic lab testing were unremarkable. Kidney function remained at baseline with creatinine 2.2 mg per deciliter despite valgan cyclovir prophylaxis. She was found to have CMV viral load of almost 500,000. Five logs already, international unit per ml. Uh, replication of CMV and DNA, uh, CMV DNA virus, and uh, you know, this uh, member of herpes viridae family and kidney transplant recipient can be symptomatic, 
or asymptomatic, asymptomatic or symptomatic. Asymptomatic is this subclinical uh, CMV infection, like uh, just you will find high CMV PCR. Symptomatic and the manifest as CMV disease. Uh, CMV disease is a virus that classified into tissue invasive. CMV disease with organ involvement, most commonly cause enteritis or colitis, most common a site of our, in, that you found CMV viremia, either enteritis or colitis, but also hepatitis, retinitis, meningitis, pneumonitis, allograft, nephritis. You should think about this CMV symptomatic invasive tissue, invasive disease like enteritis, colitis, hepatitis is the most common uh, presentation for CMV viremia, both transplant, either enteritis or colitis, hepatitis, retinitis, meningitis, pneumonitis also, and allograft nephritis came by AKI, or rising creatinine, or graft dysfunction. CMV disease without organ involvement typically present with fever, malaise, myalgia, leukopenia, and serumcytopenia. Leukopenia, serumcytopenia, and, and fever, malaise, myalgia, leukopenia, serumcytopenia, similar to our patient. After one week of intravenous gancyclovir therapy, the patient's symptoms begin to improve. So the serum CMV viral load increased over 1 million, 1 million from 500. But one week, symptoms improve after IV gancyclovir. CMV and the viral resistance to the first line therapy should be suspected if CMV viral load feel to decrease or rises or persists beyond two weeks of adequate therapy. This means what is the definition of CMV antiviral resistance? It should be suspected if CMV viral load feel to decrease or increased or persistence beyond two weeks of adequate therapy. The most common antiviral resistance encountered is that to gancyclovir, so resistance can be seen to all agents. The most important risk factor for resistance is CMV mismatch. CMV mismatch is the most common risk factor of resistance, like donor positive and the recipient is negative. Other known risk factors include chronic immunosuppression and suboptimal of gancyclovir. CMV drug resistance testing most commonly check for mutation in, G in two genes. Any patient to CMV drug resistance not respond to IV gancyclovir, you should think if to check this mutation in two genes, UL97 kinase and UL54 DNA polymerase. UL sabotisine kinase, UL sabotisine kinase, and UL arbauchamsin DNA polymerase. UL sabotisine kinase and UL arbauchamsin. 54D in a polymerase. This mutation includes four viral, viral kinase that mediates <coughs> uh, triphosphorylation of gancyclovir into the active gancyclovir triphosphate and the CMV DNA polymerase, uh, respectively. This mutation includes four viral kinase that mediate triphosphorylation, triphosphorylation of gancyclovir into active gancyclovir triphosphate and the CMV DNA polymerase respectively. Uh, this polymerase is a target cell of for all three anti-CMV. This polymerase target cell target for all three anti-CMV drugs, the gancyclovir, foscarnate, and the cedofovir. Now this polymerase is a target for all the three anti-CMV drugs like gancyclovir and foscarnate and the cedofovir. In our patient CMV resistant testing field to detect a mutation, we already did mutation for these two genes, UL sabotisine kinase and UL arbauchamsin DNA polymerase, already uh, negative in our patient. After two weeks, after two weeks of uh, treatment with gancyclovir, the CMV viral load decreased, and the patient, the patient was discharged with 900 milligram oral valgancyclovir twice a daily. Treatment should continue for at least two weeks, 
or until the viral load is undetectable or whichever is longer. Guidelines suggest discontinuous therapy after one negative CMV PCR using the highly sensitive quantitative nucleic acid amplification. Amplification assays is NAT, CMV PCR, or using, uh, using a NAT. Uh, if negative, we can discontinue the medication. CMV viremia and disease continue to carry a high risk of morbidity and mortality and can significantly, uh, significantly impact the graft function. And the clinical presentation can be variable. Recognition and appropriate treatment are crucial to optimize transplant or uh, outcomes. This already cases posted by Dr. Sarah Atalla. Case number two, a 50 years old male patient, eight months post transplant, 50 years male, eight months post kidney transplant, two weeks diffuse papular rash, papular rash, uh, four to five days diffuse myalgia, four to four, uh, five days loose stool, poor intake, decrease urine output. The patient came by diffuse papular rash, diffuse myalgia, and four to five days also with diarrhea and decrease oral intake and anorexia and decrease urine output. In ADD, ACCD, kidney transplant, March 2020, in this stage, uh, kidney disease or renal disease, secondary to hypertension. Hypertension since 26 years. AKI required to bury IHD in 2010 with a partial recovery. Kidney biopsy showed a thrombotic microangiopathy, no evidence of microangiopathic maha, maha microangiopathic hemolytic anemia. Uh, secondary workup, including genetic screening for typical HUS, TTP, or TTP also negative. Protein dialysis initiated in 2016, allergic rhinitis, and the gout. Kidney transplant, March 2020, NDD, SCD, NDD did neurological uh, determinant death or donor after neurological death, standard criteria donor, not extended criteria donor. And we discussed this in details already in our uh, transplant session before. What you need to know about kidney transplant is complete session to cover just a summary around for uh, 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 the introduction to the transplant. Immediate graft function and complicated surgery already after he received transplant in 2020 with MDD SCD kidney transplant. With immediate graft function, basiliximab induction at standard river immunosuppression, uh, tacrolimus at the um, MMF and the prednisone. With basiliximab induction, CMV donor positive and the recipient negative. Valgan cycle, Valgan cycle, we already prophylaxis already in, in going. ABV also donor positive and the recipient positive. BGB prophylaxis, etc. Discharge on post operative day five with creatinine 106. Discharge on creatinine 106, post operative day five. Post renal transplant clinic follow up, a regular surgical wound healed well. Uh, ureteric stent removed at six weeks. You know, then just remind you, any stent removed from six to eight weeks. Uh, PD cast removed July 2020, infection screening and prophylaxis. CMV valgan cycle continued for six months. CMV BCR positive September 2 and September 22. BK, BK uh, PCR 2 and 3 and 6 months was negative. BK. BK PCR 2 and 3 on uh, 6 months was negative. Septron held transient uh, in June 2020 for increased ALT and then held one since October 2020 for Lycopini also the septra. Uh, gout flare up July, uh, July and August, July and August 2020 improved with increasing prednisone to 30 mg for five days. Most times, you know, in the gout during transplant, we can increase the prednisone, we can give colchicine 0.6 mile daily. We can give also alibrunol 100 after that and titrate until to cut down the level to about uh, blue normal. This is some medication and you can give an analgesic, um, either Tylenol or paracetamol or um, hydromorphones. You can give some, some patient to severe pain. Your symptoms after stopping bantamazole and uh, no uh, post transplant uh, diabetes. 
immunosuppression break is down 5 milligram, advagraph dose with stack level 4 to 9, my vortex 360 BIT decreased already because leukopenia, October 2020. Graph the function is stable, like between 90 to 100 until July 4, until July 4 months post the transplant. After four months of wrong transatlantic, creatine increased to 140 to 155 since August, October uh, 2020. Blood pressure controlled, one agent to one agent, urine album creat ratio 6.7. Tag level, I think within, within normal. Tag level is in target, my problem Tag level in target was in, uh, in target uh, this, uh, for adherence issue. Uh, BK BCR, BK. PCR negative, urine culture is negative also. Ultrasound, no hydronephrosis, no doubler. In this is any transplant came to be you with anything. So don't forget to ask for ultrasound, especially with fever or abdominal pain or graft tenderness like that. Uh, planned for graft biopsy and outpatient got date November uh, 2020, suspicion of rejection. We suspect for rejection for this rising creatine 140 from baseline around 100. We suspect also rejection is the most, of, the most important and the first differential diagnosis. Low prob uh, probability of recurrence of yet undiagnosed primary disease, tag toxicity as out, all this is out. And November 3, called the transatlantic clinic, missed the biopsy. The patient missed the biopsy and the reported progressive weakness, fever, runny nose. The patient already uh, booked as outpatient kidney biopsy, and the patient already missed the biopsy and the called the hair clinic. And the reported progressive weakness, fever, runny nose, dry cough, a uh, few episodes of diarrhea or, or, or intake. November 4, seeing the clinic diffuse rash and the back and the legs suspected shingles. Herbis zoster and started uh, Vala cycle of year 500 BID, creatine at that time 450, adjusted to creatinine clearance, called in for direct admission to nephrology. This patient at that time admitted to a uh, nephrology under kidney transplant team. Any changes will start a Vala cycle of year, not Valgan, Vala cycle of year 500 BID, and adjust according to creatinine clearance. Admitted November 6, a sub, subjective fever, subjective fever at November 6, so with shells, loose stool still with diarrhea, no nausea, no vomiting, decrease urine output, no, no dysuria, hematuria, generalized myalgia, pain, and the back over the graft also. Rhinorrhea, nasal condition, no cough, no short of breath, no hematism, no chest discomfort, rash over the back, and sigh, it's healing. No headache, altered uh, level of consciousness or seizure also documented. Her home medication, prednisone 5 milligram, advagraph 8 milligram, MMF and hold, septal and hold, bisoprolol 10 milligram daily, and vera sulfate, or vera fumarate, 300 milligram daily, vala cyclovir 500 milligram per oral BID, started November 4 for shingles query, uh, herbis zoster. The exam, the patient uh, fully conscious oriented, just a lethargic week, blood pressure a little bit high, bo, saturated well, temperature is okay, GVB flat, chest clear, heart is okay, abdomen diffuse, tender. When you have abdomen diffuse, tender in examination, including graft and suprabiopic, don't forget CMV viremia. No peripheral edema, diffuse papular rash, no, no vesicular rash, C over the lower back, buttock, and side. Sacral wound, already we have sacral wound, um, five to five centimeter, no discharge, not infected. Uh, preliminary investigation, we're looking at 108 white blood cells, leukopenia, 1.9, platelet is okay, 219. And here, uh, neutrophils 0.2, lymphocyte 0.4, 1.2, is in the field zero, basal field zero, keratinine 600, 600 plus from a normal baseline assumption around 100, blood urea nitrogen 41. Sodium, potassium, chloride, CO2, just a high iron gap, metabolic acid is high iron gap. The calcium 214, phosphorus okay, magnesium okay, total bilirubin elevated, and direct bilirubin also elevated. 
on this tribulation 20. ALT also is elevated, ACT is elevated, uh, and alkaline phosphate is, is normal, albumin S2 and S3 is low. We have here also abnormality in higher liver enzymes, CK, LDH is normal, and lactate 3.3, CRP already is high, 300. CRB is elevated also, troponin 17, thamory a 50 years, a male patient, um, eight months, uh, post renal transplant presenting with AKI, creating uh, from 100 to 600 plus severe leukopenia. The patient presented now to you in the clinic in the emergency in the consult, AKI, severe leukopenia, neutropenia, lymphopenia, monocytosis, diarrhea, and diffuse papular, papular skin rash. Further kidney related workup, your analysis, blood positive, blast to blood, leukosterase is negative, nitrate is positive, protein one gram, and your light sodium 24, potassium 33, chloride 17, your microscopy few, heme granular cast, this was picture of 18, tacrolimus mass is 3.2, straff level C0, 3.2. Also, this is a little bit. Uh, Accepted or a little bit low, maybe risk of rejection also. Ultrasound graft or doublar no hydronephrosis. Small peritransplant collection two centimeter normal doublar indices also. AKI differential diagnosis for this patient pre-renal. You should any patient with AKI just put in your mind pre-renal, renal, post-renal, pre-renal IV fluid or for in, in, we started with IV fluid for volume expansion. We suspect that by from this same granular cast because ETN already diagnosed by your microscopy. Uh, transplant related maybe either rejection or recurrence of undiagnosed native kidney disease or de novo GN also put in your mind recurrence or de novo or rejection or thrombotic microangiopathy or CNI toxicity you should put in your mind or infectious and just don't forget an infection CMV, PK virus, EBV virus, Epstein viral virus with both these three main infectious topics in your mind, CMV, uh, viremia, CMV, uh, virus nephropathy, and BK nephropathy, and DBV nephropathy also, both in your differential diagnosis. Infectious infection workup, already blood culture, November 6th, pseudomonas, organosa, uh, organosa and the enterococcus colleague. This patient in his blood culture now bacteremia for pseudomonas and the enterobacteria. Urine culture is negative. Uh, see, maybe BCR uh, two, uh, around three logs already, around 300. International unit per ml. This, this is positive already for this patient. Uh, BK PCR is negative. Uh, herbis simplex one, herbis simplex virus two, varicella zoster for blood. All this PCR is negative for all this virology. Um, monospot negative for heterophil uh, antibody for officious monoclosis and the COVID is negative also. The patient uh, management started in Merovenam for this blood culture pseudomonas uh, and the enterobacter. I started Merovenam and Valgan cyclovir, renal doses, Valgan cyclovir because he may be positive and the uh, single ID stable Vala cyclovir, Vala cyclovir, we are using only. If this varicella zostal, varicella zostal virus already is positive, but is negative now. So valacyclovir is stopped, rash not suggestive for zostal. Continue morbidum to source side identify, diarrhea subside at admission. So stool uh, subside at admission, so stool culture not sent. A CT abdomen done during this admission, no intra-abdominal collection here in a collecting system of transatlantic kidney due to a folly at bariurology. Repeat ultrasound after removing the folly, resolution already done. Lift native kidney, the uh, hydronephrosis at urethropelvic junction here, hydronephrosis at urethropelvic junction, and the non-obstructive calculi, same compared to previous CT as bariurology. And like uh, focus X ray sinus suspected uh, berry or dental abscess, uh, CT sinus no uh, drainable collection, but widespread dental caries, no source of current infection as per dentist, no urgent teeth removal, repeat blood culture negative after one week, switch it to a simple to complete 14 days or so the illness. Immunosuppression stress dose steroid IV hydrocortisone, prednisone 10 mg. We started by giving hydrocortisone, I resumed the prednisone 10 mg, MMF on hold. 
It will see MV and leukopenia. Adva graph required to decrease in those a week after admission and this uh, draft level for this patient during, during admission, if we give um, 506 level, trichrolimus level, all this ranges from admission till and now this from November 4 and this November 17, all the target level here and around between 7 and 10. Course in hospital also from uh, in November 5 here, creatinine like that. So look for a trend of creatinine after management of infection and disease. Um, uh, CMV viremia, creatinine from 600 reach 115. And this picture of uh, leukopenia here during the admission on November 5th or 4th. And this now uh, November 18th. Uh, this uh, picture of white blood cells and the hemoglobin already, I think, around his baseline from this. And the platelet already is not uh, entered the thrombocytopenia in this period and now normalized. And this other picture for neutrophils already improving and the lymphocytes and monocytes, everything is improving. Hematological workups. Hematology was involved for rapidly decreasing platelet count. You should ask a hematology in patients with band cytopenia. Low prob uh, probability of heads, unlike DIC or drug use, so be related to sepsis and CMV. The hematology blame sepsis and CMV improved already with treatment, as we saw before here. Everything is improving with uh, treatment of moribunam and Balkan cycle here. And here at LDH during the admission and the last one, 300, bilirubin is improving from admission 89 here to 35. Haptoglobulin is high, already not low, no, no hemolysis. INR is, is in, I think is around is normal. Uh, BTT is okay, viperinogen is high, not low, and the dimer, whatever. Course in hospital com complained of odino, uh, odino vagia and difficulty in uh, swallowing uh, differentia differential CMV or versus candida esophagitis uh, versus GERD. I uh, had bleed transplant history already for that. GI consulted esophageal uh, gastroenterodinoscopy. Our endoscopy now showed multiple small healed esophageal ulcer and the grade B esophagitis, biopsy were taken, no esophageal candidiasis, ulcer atypical for CMV, continuum pantoprazole. Discharge after two weeks of admission, AKI resolved it, continuum ciproflexacin for 14 days, continue on valgan cycle 900 mg BID for dose, as estimated due for more than 60 ml per minute with plantar monitor CMV PCR. How common is post prophylaxis delayed onset CMV, previously known as late onset CMV disease in kidney transplant recipient? What are the indirect effects of CMV infection? Does prophylaxis for CMV prevent other infection in kidney transplant recipient? Infections, all this will come uh, discussed in the next slides. Infection uh, post solid organ transplant, either from a donor derived infection. Uh, your recipient to drive the infection to a kidney transplant from donor or from recipient. Here, uh, within uh, the first two months, we discussed this before with the infection uh, with antimicrobial resistance species, MRCA, VRE, candida species is uh, in the first month post transplant, aspiration, urinary castor infection, folic asthma, and all the infection and stomatitis is leukocytium difficile, all this can be suspected in first months and this after four more months to six months. Uh, with um, BK virus nephropathy and then uh, BGB already, CMV, hepatitis B, cholesterol difficile, hepatitis C, adenovirus, cryptococcus, mycobacterium, and the pneumocystis, varicella, CMV, BV, hepatitis B, all this can be suspected. More than six months in an attack infection may be, as per jealous may be. And another CMV, BV, hepatitis B, HS, all can be suspected after uh, more than six months. Don't forget the uh, structure of our CMV virus, this component, component of the virus, the lycoprotein 1, the lycoprotein 3, and this is the coat envelope of the virus, and this is the capsid containing this. And, and the genome for the virus, and this is the genome already, the capsid and the genome, and this uh, collagen here around the virus. 
CMV virus is a major cause of infection-related morbidity and mortality. The kidney transplant is the most significant risk factor uh, for developing CMV infection after transplant. They want to open a donor and the recipient CMV zero status if the donor positive and the recipient negative this is the most important risk factor. The most common viral infection in solid uh, transplant, most common opportunistic infection in kidney transplant, 8%. Major impact on graft survival, morbidity, and mortality. Risk factor for CMV virus, donor recipient mismatch, if donor positive and recipient negative. It's more than the other. Use lymphocyte depleting agent, likely to use cymoglobin. Older uh, donor, more than 60 years, all this risk factor, allograft rejection, and receiving AV immunosuppression. This will activate the CMV infection, concurrent infection from other viruses. Interleukin 2 receptors does not increase the risk. Donor negative receiving negative incidence of CMV less than 5%. If donor negative and receiving uh, negative. Interleukin 2 receptors blocked like Bazilixumab, Simulect, not increase risk. Donor negative receiving negative incidence of CMV disease less than 5%. Ultrasound kidney transplant CMV status of a donor recipient peers. Uh, donor positive receiving negative 18%, donor positive receiving uh, positive or donor negative receiving positive 61%, donor negative receiving positive risk of CMV 21%. What is the difference between CMV infection and CMV disease? CMV infection, evidence of CMV replication regardless of symptoms. Uh, CMV DNA viremia by, new, by net, net nucleic acid testing, CMV antigenemia, antigen testing, or CMV viremia viral culture. Primary infection, donor derived, reinfection, donor derived, or reactivation, reactivation leading to recipient infection, donor derived infection are the most common. CMV infection, evidence, evidence of CMV replication regardless of symptoms by CMV DNA viremia by nuclear acid uh, testing, nucleic acid testing, if you notice his name summary is not, CMV antigenemia, antigen testing, or CMV viremia viral culture. Uh, primary infection from donor drive, reinfection, donor drive, or reactivation of latent recipient infection, donor drive infection are the most common. CMV disease pause in evidence of infection as well as symptoms. CMV symptoms like fever, malaise, arsenal, jellycobinus, rhombocytopenia. Tissue invasive disease, enteritis, colitis, hepatitis, nephritis, pneumonitis, meningitis, encephalitis, retinitis with demonstration of CMV in tissue specimen by histopathology. The most important, the symptoms will come to any patient prostate transplant, fever, malaise, arthralgia, leukopenia, thrombocytopenia, and the tissue invasive disease like enteritis, which will come by gastroenteritis, colitis, hepatitis, elevated liver enzyme, nephritis, pneumonitis, also meningitis, also encephalitis, and retinitis with demonstration of CMV in tissue specimen by histopathology. CMV viral syndrome, uh, more than uh, one signs from the above with uh, active infection like fever, malaise, leukopenia, atypical lymphocytes, and thrombocytopenia and the transaminitis by two. And this picture for internuclear and xenophilic infiltrate. This already illustrated xenophilic intranuclear inclusion uh, of higher line materials uh, like all eyes, all eyes. <clears throat> characteristic, okay. This bile histopathology diagnosis is intranuclear isonophilic infiltrate, like oil eyes, uh, with uh, our um, uh, topic um, uh, first slide. Indirect effect of CMV, uh, the uh, decrease in patient survival, decrease in graft survival. This is a complication of CMV. Decrease in patient survival, decrease in graft survival, increase in immunosuppression, or coexistence of opportunistic infection and um, uh, biopsy proven uh, acute rejection also. Uh, biopsy proven acute rejection in the first 12 months. PTLD, PTLD is a risk, also risk factor uh, for uh, CMV risk factor for uh, post-transplant lymphoproliferative disease and the trans, uh, trans and uh, post-transplant diabetes and the transplant TME, thrombotic migraine, UBC also. Uh, CMV diagnosis and monitoring quantitative by DNA-PCR. That we will see now uh, uh, 
a reference for that. If less than 2,000, that's okay, or two logs. Of more than 2,000, you should treat, and we'll come to that now. Uh, universal prophylaxis versus, versus preemptive uh, therapy, universal prophylaxis administration and viral medication to all patients with at risk of, uh, especially at risk patients, is three to six months. Preemptive therapy lab monitoring performed at regular interval to detect early viral replication. By follow up this patient, you should treat. If you see maybe start uh, low, the start to be above 2000, you should start the management for your patient. And this uh, universal prophylaxis versus emitted and this um, uh, prophylaxis and the preemptive. Early CM by linear prophylaxis is real, and you can read this one more close time for that. And CMV uh, prophylaxis duration, and we'll come to the most clinical point here. If it donor positive and recipient negative, we'll give six months recommended. Uh, recipient positive three months, if recipient positive three months, whatever the donor. If you're a donor only positive and receiving negative, six months, three months here, and uh, negative, negative, uh, routine prophylaxis is not recommended. Some said you can give us a here. Uh, or use liquid bleeding or CMV, seven negative blood product recommended for the, for decrease the risk of transfusion, trans, transmitted transmission of CMV virus with the blood. Uh, rule of screening or prophylaxis for CMV when transfused and sorting. <clears throat> uh, CMV prophylaxis duration and the impact study as a donor positive, uh, 318 kilo transplant recipient. CMV disease already developed by this significantly, already 36.8% uh, in 100 days versus 1600. 36 patient not received um, prophylaxis in comparison by 16, significantly important. I will not go to more details. There's no difference in the web of an antibody immediate rejection or graft loss with the prophylaxis or not. But only this uh, regard the um, one year survival uh, for the patient and the graft. Uh, and the patient is 36.8% uh, from 16 of CMV disease will develop this um, incidence of CMV disease. The patient received prophylaxis and this is not received. Uh, prophylaxis, uh, I think the TMV decreased from within one day with the prophylaxis in comparison by 200 days. Better if you prolong um, uh, days of course of CMV prophylaxis will give you significant decrease in CMV disease as regard the impact study. As I mentioned here, this on 100 days and 200 days, 200 days um, uh, with, uh, will give you a better uh, improvement or decrease in CMV disease already in comparison by 100 days prophylaxis. Uh, prophylaxis, uh, post prophylaxis delayed onset CMV disease, disease occurring after discontinuation of prophylaxis. This name delayed onset CMV disease after discontinuation of the valgan cyclovir, for example. Uh, previously called late onset, uh, called uh, late onset CMV disease, found in all studies evaluating universal prophylaxis 18 to 30 percent at 12 months, usually three to six months after completion of antiviral prophylaxis. And what is the risk factor for that, especially if donor positive, like development of significant CMV specific T cell mediated, cell mediated immunity? Short course of prophylaxis, higher level of immunosuppression and low graft rejection, all these risk factor, either donor positive, like simulated immunity, and short course of prophylaxis, high level of immunosuppression and low graft rejection. Uh, both of prophylaxis uh, delayed on CMV disease are shared with higher rates of mortality and the graft loss. Um, all this means all this, CMV monitoring, just uh, by CMV PCR, no need to mention details for that. CMV prophylaxis and the viral prophylaxis with valgan cyclovir or intravenous gan cyclovir should be given to patients receiving lymphocytes, especially patients with ATG, lymphocyte bleeding antibodies. For the treatment of rejection, usually one three months. Similar strategy may be considered during treatment of rejection with high dose steroid, weak, very low evidence. And CMV reflexes which antiviral, uh, according to the creatinine clearance, valgan cyclovir has equivalent efficacy of uh, to oral gan cyclovir. Valgan cyclovir had equivalent efficacy to oral gan cyclovir in donor positive recipient negative transplant. 
a cycle will determine to be inferior, inferior uh, to organ cyclopyr for the preferential of CMV. Well, a cyclopyr is inferior to valgan or organ cyclopyr for them. And then the creatinine clearance, we can give it those according to creatinine clearance here. CMV prophylaxis valacyclovir versus valgan cyclovir. High dose valacyclovir prophylaxis is effective for CMV disease and CMV viremia prevention in both donor positive uh, recipient negative, donor positive recipient positive, kidney transplant recipient. Advantage of high dose valacyclovir, low bone turnover, separation, low cost. Uh, disadvantage, high bills burden, neuropsychiatric side effect, especially with low GFR. And this, how you can give a according to clarity neurons, how this is valacyclovir. CMV disease treatment in non, no severe CMV disease, non severe and non severe CMV disease, just a valgan cyclovir or intravenous gan cyclovir. With other Victor trial, equal efficacy already between both IV or Gan uh, cyclovir or Valgan cyclovir, equivalent to plasma concentration. Uh, life threatening CMV disease, IV Gan cyclovir is recommended. If life threatening CMV disease will give IV Gan cyclovir or oral Gan cyclovir, a cyclovir or Valgan cyclovir should not be used for CMV disease. Uh, I will miss this also. This according to creatinine clearance, how to calculate those. CMV disease treatment duration. Duration of treatment determined by weeks, monitoring of viral loads, continue treatment until one or two consecutive negative sample. This hour, um, you know, when you start the treatment, you should decide when you will stop. Continue treatment until one or two negative sample for CMV BCR. Uh, blood. Uh, minimum treatment, of course, at least two weeks, minimize the risk of development, development of resistance, minimize disease recurrence, CMV recurrence risk factor for recurrence, primary CMV infection, which are not immune before, not infected before. This is donor kidney transplant, high initial viral load, slow reduction uh, in viral load on the treatment, multi-organ disease, treatment of rejection during CMV disease, persistence viremia, when transferred to secondary prophylaxis. All this risk factor for recurrence, especially if deceased donor, primary CMV infection, high initial viral load, slow reduction of viral load, and treatment, multi-organ disease, treatment of rejection with heavy immunosuppression versus viremia when transferred to secondary prophylaxis. Secondary prophylaxis, borrowing therapy with a standard prophylaxis does after successful treatment course duration, usually one to three months. Refractory and resistant CMV, refractory um, definition. Refractory CMV infection already with CMV DNA viremia or antigenemia increase after at least two weeks of appropriate dose of antiviral uh, treatment or therapy. This refractory CMV infection. Refractory CMV disease, worsening signs, symptoms, and the progressive endocrine disease after at least two weeks of appropriate dose of antiviral therapy. Resistant CMV presence of um, viral uh, genetic alteration that con uh, convert reduce susceptibility to one or more antiviral drugs. If, uh, as regards definition, antiviral drug resistance, the cyclovir, valgan cyclovir resistance occurs mainly in the donor positive and the recipient negative kidney transplant recipient. The incidence of true GAN cyclovir resistant CMV infection after solid organ transplant is 0 to 3 percent. Increase in viral load in the first two weeks of treatment are not predictor of drug resistance. Dini drugs you should ask for UL97 mutation do not affect uh, do not affect the carnet or severe susceptibility. Uh, UL450 uh, polymerase also drug resistance mutation may confer cross resistance for other uh, drugs. You should ask for this genetic mutation UL about to say UL450. And this will not do headache for you, antiviral drug resistance. We'll see this in uh, the end. Uh, increase here, um, increase or change in viral load. This is a drug resistance, just in summary. We'll assess this genetic mutation. You will about, I'm seeing you less about the same resistant testing. Uh, 
a fifth severity of CMV infection, non-severe MSV, CMV empirical therapy, non-severe CMV disease will give empirical therapy, increase the, um, the intravenous ganciclovir up to 10 mg per kg 12 hours, switch to um, a false carnet, a full dose. If severe CMV disease, empirical therapy switch to a uh, false carnet uh, with high dose or full dose, and definitive antiviral therapy is based on genotype, genotype resistant testing and clinical response. Uh, just some proven investigation may be required. This according to state resistance, just to treat according to genetic mutation, as are you about to say. Treatment option for uh, resistance CMV. If you have one patient with resistance, high dose gancyclovir or valgancyclovir for scarlet C, pseudovivir. All this, uh, the dose here for scarlet 60 milligram IV, you can read later, and pseudovivir 5 milligram per kg. Once weekly for uh, two, then every two weeks uh, thereafter. This is the dose of pseudovivir and the scarlet 60 milligram per kg every eight hours or 90 milligram per kg every 12 hour. This is a forest garden, and this is the side effect of all. The treatment option will start by valgancyclovir, IV gancyclovir, valacyclovir, not recommended already. This is the most important medication is valgan and IV gancyclovir and zinfos carnet cedofovir. And we have new medication, we'll uh, discuss this in details later. And this uh, in patient with resistance will start by phoscarnet and, and the pseudovivir. And this is comparison already between uh, Belgian cyclovir and the GAN cyclovir, phoscarnet, pseudovivir, and the vomivirisin. And this uh, just a comparison and induction, maintenance, and the principal adverse effect and disadvantage for each one. You can read. Another antiviral option, uh, like um, CMV, uh, a specific hyperimmune globulin or a standard IVIG, I, IVIG can be given, consider if hypo, gamma, globulinemia, you can ask for immunoglobulins, A, like immunoglobulin A, M, G, D, or you can ask if the patient is low in the blood, you can give him IVIG to that to increase the antibodies to this virus. Other uh, agent, anti-CMV effect, in vitro, I mean, motors, liflonide, uh, artisonate, I think you know, one use, you can use liflonide, but liflonide common with the BK virus also. And newer agent like Mary Bavir, this is going for treatment of resistance or refractory CMV. Already this is now approved by FDA. This is Mary uh, Bavir, Mary Bavir. And the liter uh, movir and novel uh, viral uh, trans, I mean, is inhibitor. Recently approved for CMV prophylaxis after allogenic hematopoietic stem transplant. Uh, not approved for use in a solid organ transplant recipient. And randomized control uh, trials comparing liter movir and the vargan cyclovir for prevention of CMV in donor positive and recipient negative kidney transplant ongoing. And this, I will not do anything for you for that. And this valgancyclovir oral solution and the prophylaxis by those according and valgancyclovir. Valgancyclovir, prophylaxis dose and the treatment dose according to the estimated GFR. You can take a picture for that. With normal GFR, we give 900 daily, whatever, uh, in uh, prophylaxis or treatment 900 twice daily. And this, uh, from between 40 to 60, 450 daily, 400 twice daily. And the treatment will double the dose, but in prophylaxis, we'll give half dose. Uh, CMV is the most important transplant related infection, affecting around 8% of renal transplant. Recipient, despite the routine use of prophylax antiviral uh, therapy, the in table uh, 16.5 from Oxford, CMV is present in abundant in the body fluids, saliva, urine, breast milk, genital secretion. This is the source of CMV, not like a Leibstein bar virus before, saliva, urine, breast milk, genital secretion of infected and infected individuals, and is usually transmitted by close contact. This is the CMV, close contact, it's contact isolation. Primary infection commonly occurs in a childhood or adolescence and is either asymptomatic or cause non-specific other respiratory symptoms, illness of infectious mononucleosis type illness, 
<clears throat> there are many strains for CMV and reinfection is common following primary infections. The virus remains latent in lymphocyte reactivation, unusual except in the event of immunosuppression. Latent infection is defined by CMV IgG, seropositive, in UK about 40% to years old and 80% 60 years old are CMV seropositive. <clears throat> risk factor for CMV uh, DD without antiviral prophylaxis, if a donor positive recipient negative around 50 to 80 percent, both positive 10 to 30 percent, donor negative recipient positive 0 to 30 percent, donor negative recipient negative 0 percent. This is the risk of factor for CMV disease without antiviral prophylaxis 80 percent, if a donor positive and the recipient negative 0 percent of both negative. CMV and the transplant recipient, transplant recipient develops CMV disease in several ways, transmission of virus the donor or from donor organ or primary infection of CMV non-immune uh, recipient, uh, super infection with uh, different uh, CMV strains, um, strain, the seropositive reactivation of latent infection. And we just one moment, please, because I need to connect to the uh, charge. CMV and sorry for that because I need to be connected to the chart. CMV and the transplant recipient uh, transmission of the virus with the donor organs, primary infection of CMV, non immune CMV, patient who is not immune before, not infected before, this is a risk factor also, and super infection with different CMV strains if CMV is zero positive, or reactivation of latent infection. This uh, theme of disease in several ways develop in our recipient, either from primary infection or sober infection uh, or reactivation of latent infection. Uh, direct effect, uh, symptomatic CMV viremia, seroconversion. Asymptomatic CMV viremia, seroconversion and immunity. Symptomatic uh, CMV disease typically occurs between one to six months post the transplant in absence of antiviral prophylaxis. Most of common manifestations of sym symptomatic CMV, viremia, uh, tissue invasive disease, CMV infection, if uh, the, transplant, uh, the transplanted kidney involved. Indirect effect immunosuppression can uh, also activate CMV disease, CMV infection, suppress post T and B cells mediated immunity, so post the opportunistic infection with bilingual suppression. Acute rejection despite enhancing immunosuppression CMV also increase the HLO class one, class two expression within the organ transplant, especially with acute rejection and increase also acute rejection. Long-term effect CMV infection has been associated with development allograftive vasculopathy and nuanced diabetes after transplant also related to CMV infection. Clinical manifestation of CMV, clinical manifestation of CMV disease, symptomatic CMV viremia, like fever, night sweat, weight loss, anorexia, malaise, myalgia, arthralgia, lymphopenia, and thrombocytopenia also involved, subclinical hepatitis, tissue invasive disease, ulceration affecting any part of the GI tears so or uh, dysphagia or dynovigia, like our patient. Gastritis, nausea, vomiting, dyspepsia, retinitis, enteritis, colitis, abdominal pain. This is the most common uh, complication or uh, clinical picture of CMV is GIT. And perforation also GIT bleeding sometimes uh, to, uh, to in, uh, is common. Uh, pneumonitis also, some patient came by fever, cough, and short of breath. Hypoxia exacerbated by exercise. When the patient cutting hypoxia, like in the pneumonia. 
uh, G6 uh, just maybe um, infiltration or localized diffuse nodular infiltrate also, and just BGB and CMD put in the range of diagnosis also. Corioretinitis also and the graft dysfunction, CMD infection, uh, lead to graft and decrease in uh, GFR, and, and um, also you'll come by acute um, kidney injury or graft dysfunction. There are two tests that provide rapid and accurate diagnosis of CMD, just either by detection by CMD, DNA, uh, DNA by PCR, this is the most common test, CMD, DNA, PCR, and the histopathology. What is your the, the diagnostic test for CMD, either CMD, DNA, PCR, or histopathology? <clears throat> we can diagnose by this um, inclusion, isonophilic inclusion, like all eyes in our histopathology already. Other tests that you can do within the bancytopenia and the transaminitis, elevated liver enzymes, also just X-ray endoscopy for chorioretinitis. Uh, management, as I mentioned for you, MT and viral therapy, PO, American cyclovir, or IV GAN cyclovir is the main stay of treatment. Treat for at least two weeks or until CMD by uh, PCR is negative. Tissue visit disease may require four to six weeks therapy. Monitor closely for relapse around 20%. Consider degrees also in new separation, either stop or reduce it as our MMF or mycophenolic acid. Or decrease C9 by 50%, but look out for acute regenerative rejection due to decrease and the kidney patient to be rejected at the same. Decrease the antimotobolite, also decrease the risk of the cyclovir induced myelo suppression. Uh, CMV, hyper IVIG, also for a patient with uh, hypogammonemia, pseudovivir, and the phoscarnet are uh, toxic alternative to organ cyclovir. Used if organ cyclovir intolerance, usually myelo suppression or resistance are uncommon. Then antiviral therapy for herpes virus and disease dose. And it can cyclovir already those five milligram per kg and will VID or uh, OD according to creatine GFR or creatinine clearance. Uh, CMV prophylaxis the risk of developing CMV disease uh, predictable based on the donor and the recipient CMV uh, matching. Uh, universal prophylaxis, as we mentioned, all uh, donor positive receiving positive should receive for at least six months. If the donor positive receiving positive, you should give three months, especially in patient uh, with um, uh, ATG induction. Valgan cyclovir is widely used uh, for CMV prophylaxis. Begin treatment with um, 10 days of transplantation. Uh, those based on the strategy for most given uh, for 100 days with 10 to 20 percent patient developing CMV disease after prophylaxis discontinue. Uh, 200 days treatment may decrease subsequent CMV disease, as we mentioned before. Uh, Valgan cyclovir prophylaxis is a cheaper Vala cyclovir. Vala cyclovir, Vala cyclovir is cheaper than Valgan cyclovir, but effective when given and the prophylaxis for 90 to 100 days. Uh, those, those also dependent on the renal function, and if estimated you for more than 60, you can give 2 gram daily. Uh, very inconvenient to take. High dose acyclovir and intermittent IV can cyclovir for or CMV high or hyperimmunoglobulin are either less effective or inconvenient to administer. Preemptive antiviral prophylaxis in this approach, all high risk patients have CMV PCR performed weekly for the first four to six weeks of post transplant, uh, four to six months of post transplant and then monthly up to one year in high-risk patient, CMV performed weekly in, the first, weekly in the first four to six months post transplant, and then monthly after one year, up to one year. Balkan cycle will be started if CMV by Rimi increase uh, a predefined threshold for around two logs or 2,000. This approach prevents unnecessary valgan cyclovir treatment and the experience of many CMV, CMV BCR testing. Our message, what is the CMV high-risk patient? This patient who is receiving a negative and donor positive should receive valgan cyclovir for six months of prophylaxis. This is my home message for you, six months of prophylaxis, especially this patient with high UCTG induction also. What is the CMV moderate risk? Recipient positive, IgGG, pre transplant, or recipient negative and the donor negative with ATG induction, but the we need to give three months. 
what is the CMV low risk? Is this receiver negative donor negative? No OTG induction. We can give or no. We can't give. We can't give prophylaxis. Maybe we will not give prophylaxis. And some uh, books mention we can give a cycle fear 400 milligram per hour and BID for herpes simplex virus. Preemptive donor positive, recipient positive, or donor negative, recipient positive, cyclic also 400 milligram PID for herpes embryx and the chick CMV PCR call every two weeks until 24 weeks. How often do you check CMV PCR after stopping gilbert reflexes? Maybe after one month, three months, six months after stopping gilbert reflexes, one, three, six, one, three, six. What is the CMV disease? Viremia plus symptoms of tissue invasive colitis and arthritis, as we mentioned before, viremia plus symptoms of invasive disease, especially GIT, colitis, arthritis, transaminitis also. How do you treat severe CMV disease? Either by GAN, cyclovir 5 mg, any severe CMV disease, GAN, cyclovir, GAN, cyclovir 5 mg, IV uh, every 12 hours, no adjustment after uh, the rest of 48 hours of starting treatment. Consider holding MMF for three days or one week or two weeks. What CMV syndrome? As we mentioned, syndrome viremia plus CMV disease. The previous one is CMV syndrome viremia plus fever, malaise, and leukopenia. Thrombocytopenia is the CMV syndrome. Uh, CMV viral syndrome, as we mentioned before, more than one signs with. Uh, Active infection, fever, malaise, leukopenia, uh, typical lymphocytes, homocytopenia, transamnitis, invasive CMV disease, specific target organ, symptomatic plus histopathology. Uh, replication on the peripheral blood may uh, be absent. Quantitative CMV assay of an invasive gastritis, colitis, chorioretinitis. CMV syndromes, fever, malaise, fatigue, myalgia, leukopenia, and somocytopenia, CMV tissue invasive disease, hepatitis, pneumonitis, colitis, bankylitis, carditis, encephalitis, retinitis, nephritis. Just don't forget colitis, enteritis, hepatitis, pneumonitis is the most common we see. We saw. The CMV risk factors are donor, like donor positive, recipient negative, older age, HLM is match, especially donor positive, recipient negative, ATG more than the basic induction therapy. How do you treat CMV viremia? 100 to 1000 to 2000 load viral load and asymptomatic reach just to follow up, routine follow up. CMV every week for three weeks and no change in immunosuppression. Or you can cut down if increasing. Viral load increased more than 2,000 start by Vargan Cyclovir and the Chick Sigma Bar every week for three weeks. If you viral load more than 2,000 or two logs, more than that, start the Vargan Cyclovir and the Chick Sigma PCR every week for three weeks to monitor after treatment Sigma PCR every week for four weeks, as in every two weeks for one month, as in every two to three months. Adjusting Vargan Cyclovir or Gan Cyclovir to according to creatinine clearance. Don't forget that. When you will treat and we will, when you will follow up, up to 2,000, just follow up. More than 2,000 or two logs, start an organ cycle here and follow up every week and then two weeks, every month like that. How to adjust the Belgian organ cycle beer? Uh, according to creatinine clearance, this can cycle beer 5 milligram per IV every 12 hours, and this according to creatinine clearance dose, and this Belgian cycle beer uh, 900 every 12 hours, and this adjusted dose already. When do you prepare IV can cycle beer over uh, beer oral? Belgian cycle beer, especially patients with severe CMV invasive disease or extremely high viral load, okay? I will use IV GAN cyclovir in comparison by beer oral well GAN cyclovir. If severe uh, CMV invasive disease or extremely high viral load, how do you define resistant CMV? If CMV continue to rise more than one load or can increase from the baseline after two weeks of cell, after two, should be after two weeks resistance, after two weeks continue rising or resistance Systemic illness after two weeks from CRB with the GAN cycle or significant rise in the CMV PCR after one week of adequate treatment. That should be two weeks. Send a resistance panel. What is the resistance panel? UL are about from seeing, UL is about to say, UL are about from seeing genetic testing for resistance of CMV. 
civil treatment option, high dose IV and cyclovir, foscarnet IV, liter movir 480 mg daily, reduce C9 and immature by 50% when liter uh, movir started. Liter movir started, just decrease C9 by 50 or immature by 50%. This is a treatment option for treatment option for severe CMV disease. I dose IV against cyclovir, foscarnet IV, liter movir 480 milligram daily, and reduce C9 and limitose by 50% when liter movir started. What is the second reflex? Reflex after treatment of severe infection, virgin cyclovir can give one month as a second reflex. Then you check CMV BCR IgG for serum protein follow. CMV BCR at one month, three months after completion. If no secondary reflexes, after treatment, you check CMV PCR every week for four weeks, then every month for three months. If no secondary reflex after treatment, check CMV PCR weekly for four weeks, then monthly for three months. If you want to start uh, CMV prophylaxis. CMV as a post transplant infection, genetic sequence, uh, sequence detect mutations that kills drug resistance like UL C mutation and uh, 40, uh, 54 Abacom C mutation, C and Abacom C mutation, all this uh, resistance. And the most frequent resistance to uh, again, cyclical resistance is UL C mutation. You will have a mutation as again cyclovir or scarlet cyclovir resistance resistance to all already. You will have a mutation. Remember this chicken after any event of prolonged immunosuppression reduction, don't forget rejection. We will decrease the immunosuppression, just the donor specific antibodies should be checked to rule out rejection. And this suggested um, cytomodalis, uh, cytomodalis virus CVV prophylaxis protocols. <coughs> If both negative, just a cyclovir, you can give uh, if CMV, and you can read also CMV negative recipients. If a positive donor will give uh, for six months, 900, then maybe be ideal daily according to GFR. Uh, positive recipient negative donor, we can give for three months, especially if a patient will uh, receive ATG. If a both uh, positive, we can give for three months, is here, especially if a patient also receive ATG. New FED approved medicine, his name live in uh, live ethnicity, and the uh, trade name already uh, active ingredient in Mary Bavier. This is a trade name, a live ethnicity, live ethnicity, live ethnicity, live ethnicity, and the uh, active ingredient in Mary Bavier. This live ethnicity, I think this is a trade name, and this uh, active ingredient, Mary Bavier. A two treatment resist uh, to treatment of post transplant CMV infection or disease that not respond to other antiviral treatment options. This, I think, new era in management of CMV resistance uh, to antiviral medication. This uh, life tenacity, life tenacity, life tenacity, or Mary Bavir, Mary Bavir. Uh, mechanism is a cytomegalovirus BUL97 kinase inhibitor. We will inhibit this UL about same mutation. And this uh, Mary Bavir for refractory cytomegalovirus uh, virus infection with or without resistance, post transplant result from phase three randomized clinical trials. You can read this uh, article for this uh, Mary Bavir if you have any patient with resistance to a regular antiviral treatment for CMD viremia. وأنا أتمنى إن شاء الله تكونوا استفدتم ونسألكم الدعوة والتوفيق والسداد والبركة في الوقت والملأ الأهل والأولاد ولا تنسوا دائما الصلاة والسلام على حبيبنا ومعلمنا وقدرتنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وأترككم في رعاية الله وحمزه والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته